Hey guys, Paul the Master here. And uh, today, uh, it's probably be my only video of this item, unless I get a newer one. Uh, I did a video of it last year, but I had sprayed it down with water. Uh, this is the six foot, or maybe it's five foot, I don't know. Um, I don't have the box. Uh, Jimmy, inflatable Winnie the Pooh in a basket. Um, and then he hold, he's holding a happy Easter sign and the three eggs are painted like Tigger, Eeyore, and Piglet. Um, this was Lucas's old one, uh, when he got, he got a new one last year and sent me this one. Cause I mean, it was, I mean, it's so shot the, uh, the ears, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the ears disintegrated off and the hat disintegrated off as well um the what i mean by ears there used to be bunny ears here but his ears actually are getting pretty pretty fragile 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 as well um i guess he told me it sat outside in his yard all summer why i don't know uh but that's why it's so worn out and it's literally crumbling. Um, I did flex seal the front of this. Um, I mean, it does lean, but it does inflate now before it never inflated. Oh, excuse me. So what I'm gonna do when I decorate or when I put it out, his collar does not inflate. It's like the foam fabric kind of deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them out. There's no lights in them because he's not quite strong enough to hold lights just yet. Um, I don't know if he ever will, but so when I put them out, I'm going to put a pole behind them and just clip it to him. But then when he's deflated, unclip it. That way the wind doesn't rip them. Sorry, I keep, I have an eyelash or something in my eye. Uh, but yeah, so other than he, this thing's in rough condition, I will tell you that. I mean, the top of it's disintegrating, it is faded, and it's missing the bunny ears, and uh, the bonnet, he had a pink Easter bonnet on. Uh, so really the only things that make it Easter is happy Easter sign and the eggs. Uh, you can't really tell it's a green basket, but it, it is. Um, so yeah, when I put this thing out, uh, I'll put a spotlight on it just so it lights up a little bit at least. Um, but yeah, today's St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Um, I've already done my St. Patrick's Day display. Uh, I have a dentist appointment in the morning tomorrow, so after my dentist appointment, if the weather's nice... I will be taking my green lights down and my leprechaun down and putting these one, two, three, four. Yeah, I have four Easter inflatables in my room right now. I have Winnie the Pooh, the pop up, an egg off the old bunny, and then the O3 sit down bunny with a carrot. Uh, he needed some work. That's why he's not out yet. Uh, obviously, Pooh needed flex sealed. This thing is actually going to go. I don't know if you can see it, but it's going to go right where the leprechaun is, mainly because I want to keep it in good condition, so I'm going to keep it on the porch, and then Winnie the Pooh is going to go where I have my Ferris wheel, the egg is going to go down at the bottom of the driveway, and the bunny is going to go with the rest. Uh, I will tell you guys, I've not done a video yet, but I have started my Easter display. And instead of arcing the inflatables, I just put them all in one straight line going from biggest or smallest to the biggest in the middle and then back down to the smallest. Uh, you'll see what I mean when I make the video. Um, there we go. The camera's focused now. So the point of putting poo by the house is that way that line is even and it shouldn't be messed with. Like, it, the line will be even. 
There will be one on the porch, one beside the porch, and then two at the bottom of the driveway. I have like 10 or 11 Easter inflatables, I can't remember, with another one on the way. Now, if I get to use that one or not, I'm not entirely sure yet. I don't know the condition it's in. It was one of my childhood ones, so I pray that it's a... The colors look fine, but that that doesn't always mean it's not worn out. So, we're going to see. I, I have no idea yet, but it's one of my childhood ones, and I will uh, talk about it whenever the time comes. Um... Now, I know you guys may ask what happened to the fish tank in the background because a few of you guys and gals uh, were asking me to do a video on my fish tank, and I'll be truthfully honest with you. Um, I gave the fish to my sister because, uh, I mean, there was only four of them, so there's no point in having a big tank like that for four fish. Uh, but I have some, one of my friends is looking into buying my, that big tank. So, uh, you can probably see all the stuff there on the floor wrapped in a towel, drying up. Um, so I moved my frog, I moved Kermit over to it just to clear off some space here for whatever I would like to put there. But, uh, yeah, so if anyone is asking what happened in the background with the fish tank, that is what. But, uh. Yeah, so I guess without further ado, I will plug it in and show you what it does on its own. Um, again, there's no lights. If I can get one fully working, I'd love to put a light in each egg. Because I don't, I truthfully do not know uh, what the original version of this looked like. I think there's only like two or three lights in um, Winnie the Pooh. I could be wrong. But uh, yeah, so without further ado... I'll plug this in. I was actually surprised when he started to try it like, it, like this, when he tried to come up. He's never done that before on his own. Yeah, uh, again, he will lean, so I am going to push him back, but, because I don't know what the camera looks like. So there is what he's supposed to look like. I mean, as you can see, the pink egg completely faded, except the bottom. Tigger, it's semi-faded. Eeyore. He's semi-faded as well, mainly his bow. His bow is white, um, but it should be pink. But, uh, yeah, here, I'll stand him up again. But when Lucas gave him to me, he didn't even do this. Like, his arms were down. All he wanted to do was fall. Um, but yeah, I mean, he does stand you know, semi on his own. So that's why I was thinking um, putting a pole in the back with the clip just to secure it. And then obviously when he's turned off, just let him go. Um, but yeah, so, uh, I mean, he doesn't see, then, when he, then he sits on his fan and starts to deflate. Another reason why I want to hook them up, but uh, like once the airflow starts going, he does come up on his own. But uh, yeah, I think it'd look good with the spotlight. Um, it would just help it out a lot. But I want to show you guys what I mean. So. That's what Tigger's egg's supposed to look like. That's what the front of it looks like. Eeyore actually isn't that bad. Again, it's mostly the bow. It's supposed to be dark pink. And then Piglet. That is flex tape, by the way. Piglet's egg is supposed to look like that. Looks like that. Uh, surprisingly, the sign isn't faded. 
His red is definitely faded, though. You can tell. Ooh, I guess I need to... Uh... Oh, no. See that little pink? That's from his bonnet. He had a hat with a strap that ran around his face. Um, and you can actually see... Go in the back here. The hat sat right here, and you can see where it, it's darker. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the ears completely disintegrated. The bunny ears did. Now, his real ears are actually starting to disintegrate. Um, so, I don't know. Let's see right down through them. So I don't know how much how much longer I'll be able to uh, preserve it. I mean, eventually it'll, you know, just disintegrate. And then the basket, I mean, the basket's faded. This thing, I think, is backwards. You can move the handle. I think it's supposed to be facing backwards, but it is what it is. I mean, what are you going to do? So yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to make a quick little video in case he doesn't last much longer. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.